Welcome to Active Inspire Basics. Today we are going to explore the basic features of Active Inspire. You can download this flip chart from the Edmodo group or the Moodle group from which you found it. Let's get started. One of the main tools that you'll be using with your flip charts and with your interactive whiteboard is the pen tool. And there are two very different looks between the pen tool in the primary and the pen tool in the studio look. If you're using the primary look, you will see that there is a blue button with a pen on it. And at the bottom, you'll see a essentially a tray show up. And the tray pops up to help guide you. There are three highlighters over here on the left. There are three sections to this. Three highlighters. There are um, one, two, three, four, five, six pens in the middle. And in the end, there are three erasers. So you have in one tool three tools. It's a three in one tool. Notice over here that in the studio version, the pen, highlighter, and the eraser are separate buttons. And we'll take a look at that on the next page. So the pen tool and the highlighter tool and the eraser tool are separate on the studio version. And I'll go back a page. Uh, the color choices are along the bottom here. So you can choose your color choices from right there. Studio look. Studio look has the pen tool. Pen tool, highlighter tool, and eraser tool are all separated. Again, highlighter tool emphasizes the area of text. It's translucent. You can see through it. The pen tool is um, obviously, um, oops, pen tool is not translucent. You can't see through it. And it's often a technique to use the pen tool to scratch out a word and use the eraser tool to reveal what's behind it. In the studio version, there are, there are four preset thicknesses to the pen tool. So I can do one set, if I do this, one thickness one, thickness two, three, and thickness four. I'll use my eraser to erase that. I can also use a custom thickness by dragging this, and then you'll see the number of pixels wide it's going to be. I can drag this to whatever I want, and it will draw, oops, I can drag this to whatever I want, and it will draw a line of that thickness. Most of the presets will um, suffice for whatever activities you might be doing with your students. Going back to the primary look, the thicknesses are limited, to, are limited to the tips that you see here. So you've got six different thicknesses for the pen or pencil. It kind of looks more like a pencil. There are three thicknesses for the eraser tool or the highlighters, and there are three thicknesses for the eraser. Generally for the eraser, I suggest that you use the largest because it erases the most and you get it erased quickie, quicker. Okay, so speaking of the eraser tool, again, the erasers are on the end of the primary look, but it is a separate button here on Studio. You can, and I'm going to choose this preset eraser, so you can permanently erase it only, uh, the eraser tool actually only erases annotations. It will not erase any objects such as images. Just to show that, I'll just erase here. So it erases this large thick line. It erases the highlighting I did, but it does not erase the text. It does not erase this icon, and it does, it does erase the circle that I drew with the pen tool, but nothing behind it. Okay, that is a concept that really does need to be emphasized that eraser tool only erases text, which is why it can be very good to use the pen tool, scratch out a word, and then have students use the eraser tool to reveal an answer behind it. And that's a color trick. 
So the essential tips for knowing the eraser is that if you erase, go big. Oops, got to change the color. Go big makes it easier to erase. It only erases annotations. And it also, you should know there are several ways other than the eraser to erase. If I draw some annotations, I can use the squirt bottle. In the primary, the bottle is green. In the studio, it's sort of a blue. Just like a spray bottle on a traditional old school whiteboard where you would spray it down and wipe it with a paper towel or some other cloth, you can clear all annotations at once by selecting clear annotations. If I click this button again and I clear objects, it clears, let me write something on here, it clears everything but the annotations. I'm going to click on this button here, this is the undo button. If I click on the clear bottle again, I can clear the entire page by clicking that last option. I'm going to hit undo again. The clear grid and the clear background are as sort of advanced um, options which will be explained at some other time. So the other thing t I can do to get rid of any marks that I've made, if I draw and I really mark up the page and I do all kinds of stuff, is I can click this button next to the spray bottle which is the reset page button. It will reset the page to the condition it was the last time you saved it. So if you were to open up this flip chart and reset it, it'll be just like it was before. But if I make some markings and then I hit save now and hit reset, if I were to hit the reset button after I've saved, it will take it back to the point. But this squiggly line that I drew and then saved will still be there. So that's one thing to kind of keep in mind. So in the flip chart, we've got two tech. We've got a, an example of using the eraser tool and the pen tool. And I'm going to use my eraser tool, and this is a science lesson, where you're supposed to erase the label, following the macromolecules, and describe one difference between them as you are erasing. So if I just erase the labels on the line, if I erase the lipid, the lipid is on the line below that. If I erase here, protein and carbohydrates. A very simple tool, a very simple technique. All that was done is they have a white background. They select a white color for the pen, make it a little bigger, and they just simply draw white over top of the label that hides them. Now I did it kind of quickly so it sort of got that line, but then they just use the eraser, and again they erase, and it's all appearing again.